like to talk a little bit about the forefather of the cruise missile. This is the first truly guided bomb and it was mounted underneath the wing of a, of a, of a bomber and it, would, it, it had radar and it had a glide path so it could be steered in. It was a gravity drop bomb but it could be steered. And here's an actual an actual what's left of one hanging overhead at the War Museum of the Pacific. It had a thousand pound uh, charge, which was standard. That's what was in a, uh, a V-1 buzz bomb also. And uh, it packed quite a punch and it was uh, five times more accurate than, than the other. So this is the grandfather of the cruise missile right here. And uh, it's here overhead at the War Museum of the Pacific. So when you see this here, look overhead and there's the bat. So there's the radar, the steering mechanisms, and the charge is right there uh, and can do a whole lot of damage. But anyway, that's the first, this is the grandfather of the cruise missile right there. Thank you, I'm out. I'd like to cover the fleet of Ferrara, which is generally considered the greatest war in China. So this is all, it's all my little inbox. This was a uh, Japanese Rear Admiral saying a million man cannot take Ferrara in a hundred years. Well, the Marines took it. How lost is the first day, 15,000 were dead, more than 5,000 man down, you know, but they took it. Save this guy, but it tore tore a hole in it. It turned, it turned it off just enough where it missed the scalp underneath. Uh, so the greatest marine triumph. Tore off the 